Seven JCPS bus drivers called out this morning and it left the district dealing with long delays. Now many parents are worried about what could happen on Monday. Several bus drivers told WDRB they are taking a stand by calling out. Darby Bean talked to the bus union today about why some drivers are fed up. Darby. Well, this is the largest number of drivers JCPS says have called out on any given day so far this school year. We're being told the biggest issue is student discipline. We wish that this had just been a rumor because this means that our students are not in school and that hurts kids and it hurts families. 87 bus drivers out Friday morning for Jefferson County Public Schools, Kentucky's largest district, which transports more than 60,000 kids. There are delays, absolutely. JCPS has never canceled a bus route. That is something that most other districts do do. Uh, we have never done that. We delay routes. JCPS has already faced driver shortages this school year sometimes seeing delays of three to four hours for getting kids to class and says typically call outs on Fridays range from 45 to 60 drivers. The union president says student discipline is the biggest issue. Well, it's been going on, but it's progressively gotten worse each year. One JCPS parent says her middle schoolers bus arrived without any issues, but she kept her elementary student home Friday, concerned about potential delays for the afternoon drop off. Today, I just didn't want to take that risk with my youngest and just kept her home. She worries Monday could come with the same issues. It was originally a day the district was out of school, but classes will be in session, making up for some of the time when JCPS canceled classes at the start of the school year due to transportation issues. The union president, unsure of exactly what to expect, saying bus drivers are calling out on their own. I figured it'll probably be about the same amount. You know, they, they won't get their voice heard. JCPS says it's listening to complaints from drivers. A big change in the works deals with the referral process if a student misbehaves on a bus. It will move from a paper system where the bus driver hands off a note to the compound coordinator who then sorts through those and sends them to the school administration to an online system getting straight to the school in real time. Bus drivers can also then follow up and see if an action has been taken on that referral. That is a direct response of the conversations that have been had with bus drivers and compound coordinators uh, to work better together in that situation. While JCPS says it doesn't cancel routes, officials tell us that would be the worst case scenario for Monday. In Fallon, that means parents are encouraged to have a backup plan like a carpool option in mind. The busing problems continue at JCPS, putting many parents in a tough spot. All right, Darby, thank you.